I'm going to use this map of Nigeria to show you the coordinate tracker function in Map3D 2011. If I look at my data connector, you'll see the raster image that I've loaded is using UTM32 North coordinate system. This is a universal transverse Mercator coordinate system. The shapefile I've added is using a latitude and longitude system for Nigeria. I'm going to turn on some of these additional map layers now. I've got some area boundaries and some highways added to the map and I'm going to turn off the raster image. So I'm going to zoom in to an area of the map here just so that we can see the functions of the coordinate tracker. If I look at my map setup I can see the coordinate system that's assigned to the drawing. This is using the same latitude and longitude system that the shapefiles are in. You can select any coordinate system of course and your layers will be projected to that system. Now I'm going to start the coordinate tracker tool. You can see the display in the coordinate tracker shows me the values based on the coordinate system assigned to the map and the latitude and longitude values change as I move my cursor across the screen. If I look at the options for the coordinate tracker you can control how these latitude and longitude values are displayed. I'm now going to add some additional coordinate systems to the tracker. We can duplicate a tracker and then assign a new coordinate system to it. I'm going to scroll down to the Nigeria category and I'm going to add this UTM32 system to my coordinate tracker window. This is showing the coordinates that the raster image was assigned to. Again the values change as I scroll across the map. Let's add another one. So again I'm going to clone this tracker and this time I'm going to select a different coordinate system altogether. So if I pick Nigeria again we're going to use the Nigeria West coordinate system for this exercise. We now have the coordinate tracker tracking three different coordinate systems in the same map. I'm going to zoom in now to a particular area of the map so that we can see some of the other functions of the coordinate tracker. I'm going to restore the view that I've already created where we can zoom in and see some of the roads in this particular area of Lagos. So as well as being able to just see the tracker changing as we move across the screen, I can select items in my AutoCAD window and if I move to a grip I can then read off the coordinates of an exact position. So this is very useful when you want to find out coordinates in different systems for particular points on the map. We can also use the map coordinate tracker to digitize coordinates in any system. So I've run the polyline command here and I'm going to create a new road by typing in the coordinate values on this Nigeria West coordinate system. So I'll type in the X and the Y of the first point on the road and then I pick the digitize command. Notice it started drawing the line on the screen. I can then type in the end point. So I'm adding the X and the Y coordinate of the second point on the road. And this will then create a polyline for the new road. So none of the items in this map are using this particular coordinate system, but because it's visible in the tracker, I can use that coordinate system to enter information or read off information as I want to.